imagine internet as a vast mega highway and data packets as vehicles traveling on this mega highway now picture a router as a traffic cop of this digital highway directing each packet to its intended destination ensuring smooth and efficient journey hello i am bhageshri thora and today we are going to learn the router architecture functions and importance of router in the world of networking for this video my reference book is a top down approach jim cross and kathy ross router is a fundamental piece of networking equipment that plays a central role in modern communication system the first question is what is router at its core a router is a specialized computing device designed to route data packets from one network to another it operates at the network layer of the osi open system interconnection model which is a conceptual framework that standardizes how different networking functions interact Router makes decisions based on the destination addresses of data packets ensuring they reach their intended destination. Figure shows router architecture, switching fabric, input port, output port and routing processor. The two key functions of a router is a first run routing algorithm and second forwarding datagrams from incoming to outgoing link. Routers can dynamically update their routing tables using routing protocols such as OSPF or BGP. This allows routers to adapt network changes and optimize data paths. Packet forwarding is very important function of a router. Router receives data packets from various sources and determine the best path to forward them to their destination. This process involves analyzing destination IP addresses and using routing tables to make forwarding decisions remaining functions of a router are interconnection network address translation firewall and security and last one quality of service routers are the backbone of a internet and local network input port and output port are essential components of a router serving a gateway of data to enter and exit the device Input ports often referred as WAN wide area network or LAN local area network interfaces where data enters the router from various sources these ports serves as an entry points for data packets originating from devices connected to the network or external networks like the internet here are the key aspects of input port first one is a connectivity then packet reception routing decision and input query the goal of the input port is complete input port processing at line speed this is very important output port also known as lan or wan interfaces and responsible for transmitting data packets from the router to their intended destination These packets connect to router to various network segments including local networks and external network. The key aspect of output ports include connectivity, buffering required when datagrams arrive from faster fabric than the transmission rate. This is very important and scheduling discipline chooses among twin datagrams for transmission. So, switching fabric then quick buffer data link processing protocol and line termination these are the main components of output ports switching fabric is a crucial component within a router serving as a backbone of its operation it play a very important role in efficiently routing data packets from input ports to output ports ensuring they reach their intended destination accurately and swiftly so switching fabric is a contest of router is a high speed interconnection system that facilitates the movement of data between different components within the router 
It acts as a central switching point where data packets are transferred from input interfaces to output interfaces, making routing decision and forwarding packets along the way. There are three types of switching fabric. First one is a memory, then bus and crossbar. Shared bus in this architecture, all input and output ports are connected to a common bus, while Simple, it can become a bottleneck in high traffic scenarios. Crossbar switch employs a matrix of cross points enabling direct connections between input and output ports. It offers high performance but can be expensive to implement at scale. Then multi-stage switching network. This architecture uses multiple stages of switching elements to route packets efficiently. It scales and provides a balance between performance and cost. If you like this short and sweet video on what is a router, then please share, subscribe my channel and your comments are very important for me. I am reading all the comments of my all viewers. So please don't forget to write your valuable comments and suggest a topic for new video. Thank you. Happy routing!